you should have burning instead of beauty. That's why you need all this makeup and things. Everything the black woman honored in ancient days, God took from you. Why? Go back up to verse 16 again. This is why. Moreover, the Lord said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty. Are haughty. What does haughty mean? <laughs> mean spirited. Know everything. Got a big mouth. Wow. God says, because of that, your haughtiness, I'm going to curse you. That's why you're the, the way you are today. Yeah. God has cursed you. We don't Thank curse God. you. God has cursed you. Curse but now that's why Christ came. Yes. So that you can become born again. And you have not become yes. born again. First Timothy chapter 2. Yes. And I want Isaiah 3 as well. You can't curse me. Give me a go back to Isaiah 3. Jump up first. What is the talk woman had? Three different baby daddies around. Huh? How come she cannot keep one man? If a black woman has more than one man, what is she according to God? Let's ask the sister that knows everything. If a black man has five baby mothers, what is he? He's a whore. So what is the woman? He's a, I don't what know about woman? that. I don't live like that. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. If a black man has 12 baby mothers, he's a whore. Children are their oppressors. Read. And women rule over them. And women rule over them. What is this talking about? A prophecy about the last days. How the children born of these big mouth black women would join gangs. They're your robbers. They're your thieves. They're your rapists. Why? Because these women cannot raise young boys. Right. They don't know what they're doing. Right. So they grow up and raise monsters. Give me that first, and you get their pocket room. First Ezra, second Ezra 5 and uh, 8. We're going to tell you what the Bible says, whether you accept it or not, whether you hear or forbear. First Ezra, second, come on. Second Ezra, 5 verse 8. There shall be a confusion also in many places. Now listen good, you might think you got something on us. You ain't got nothing on none of us back here. We got one wife, each of us, and we got our children raising every one of us Right here. Right. Come on. And the fire shall be upset out again. Listen. And the wild beast shall change your places. Come on. And menstruous women. And menstruous women. Listen, go to this part. Say that again. And menstruous women. And menstruous women, meaning wicked women, shall bring forth monsters. Shall bring forth monsters. Shall bring forth monsters. What does that mean? Wicked women. What, what women is God talking about? The Israelite woman, the black woman. She shall bring forth monsters. Why? She don't know how to raise children. She don't know what it means to love a child. I'm going to give you an example. Give me two hundred twenty-two and five. Leviticus 1928. And I want Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Get Leviticus first. Leviticus, I'm going to generalize you. I'm generalizing you based on your action. Come on. Come on. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28. He shall not make any no, no. Here, 29. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 29. Verse 29, listen. Do not prostitute your daughter. Do not prostitute your daughter. To cause her to be a whore. To cause her to be a whore. What does that mean? What does it mean? Read it again. Do not prostitute your daughter. To cause her to be a whore. Satan, 
Read it again. Do not prostitute thy daughters. Don't prostitute your daughters. You cause her to be a whore. To cause them to be whores. You don't know that law. You've not been taught that law. Now Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. Listen good. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. The woman. The woman. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. The woman shall not wear what pertains to a man. What does that mean? Does anybody know what that means? Huh? Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. The woman shall not wear what pertains to a man. It means pants. Women are not to dress in man's apparel. You've not learned God's laws in your churches at all. That's why you're single, your children have left you, you've had three different baby daddies, and you're out of your mind. Read it again. Yeah, when you were two years old, you were a virgin. The woman Come on. shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. So God says, God says, the woman shall not wear that which pertains to a man. Now give me Proverbs 7 and 10 or 9 and 10, one of those two. Listen good. Woman, you've been running your mouth for too long. Any man that follows you is a fool. And I feel sorry for your children. Proverbs chapter 7 verse 10. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot. And there met him a woman with what? The attire of an harlot. With the clothing of a harlot. When I was young, you could tell the difference between a good woman and a whore. But today, but today, it's hard to tell the difference. Read it again. And behold, there met him a woman. With the attire of an harlot. Let's find out the characteristics of a whore. Read. And subtle of heart. She's subtle of heart, meaning tricky. She is loud. She is what? She is loud. She is loud. Read. And stubborn. And she's stubborn. Read the verse again so you know I ain't twisting it. Verse again. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot. There met him a woman with the attire of a harlot. Read. And subtle of heart. She's subtle of heart, meaning she knows everything or thinks she knows everything. She is loud. She is loud. Read it again. She is loud. She is loud. And stubborn. And what? Freedom of speech. And she's stubborn. Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. Her husband couldn't teach her nothing. That's Freedom of speech. That's how man leaves. Freedom of speech. She says, no, she's going to teach. Freedom of speech. She's going to be the man. She said, you're not going to be the man, because I wear pants. So he leaves. So now you got four different kids, snot-nosed kids, walking behind you that you can't raise. You don't know how to raise no children. You can't raise a baby. Back to 1 Timothy 2 now. You women must be born again just like the men must be born again, according to God. 1 Timothy 2 and 11. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 11. Start up at 9. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. Listen good. In like manner also. I need you to read clear. In like manner also. In like manner also. That women. That women. That women adorn themselves in modest apparel. God says women must adorn themselves in modest apparel. But America says no. You can dress how you want to dress. So now you must make a decision. Who do you serve? Do you serve America or the one true God? Read it again. And like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Most black women cannot explain modest apparel. Most black women cannot explain it. What you have on is not modest, sister. I can see your vagina, the shape of your buttocks. You look like a whore. I'm going to tell you straight. Read it again. And like manner also, that women adorn themselves. We came out of the world, we have to conform to God's world. You must conform to God's world as well. You're not God. You're not God. You're not God. That like men are also that women adorn themselves in modest of power. Any woman wearing tight pants, you can see what men call this. Men call it camel toes. When you can see the shape of the vagina, that's not modest. That's whorish. Right. Whorish. Right. right. Read it again. And like men are also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest apparel, 
you cannot see the shape of the woman's thighs either. You cannot see the shape of her buttocks. It's all covered up like the sister with the dress. That's somewhat modest. That's the most modest we've seen. Get that on film. That is the most modest we've seen today. The white man taught you that, right? Can you show me that law in the Bible? Show me that law in the Bible. Freedom of speech. I want the law. What's your name? You don't know what your name? Just caught no. With shame facedness. With shame facedness. And sobriety. And sobriety. That we put in here on gold of pearls. Come on. Of course we are right. Here comes. But which become of women confessing. Godliness. But women which profess godliness, read. With good works. The women, black women, are supposed to have good works. Yes. Good works. What are the good works these black women are supposed to have? Give me Romans 7 and 7. I'm going to explain the good works. Because I know you don't know what good works is. Romans 7 and 7 or 7 and 12. Romans 7 and 12. Come on. Wherefore the Lord is holy. And the commandment holy. Read it again. Wherefore the law is holy. Wherefore the law of God is holy. And the commandment holy. And the commandment's holy. And just. And just. And good. And good. And good. And good. So when God says the women, go back to Timothy now. So the commandments in God's law is good. Read it again. But which cometh woman professing godliness with good works. You black women are supposed to profess Godliness with good works meaning God's laws. You were supposed, you don't do that sister, just be quiet. You were supposed to raise your sons and daughters up in God's laws. If you raise these boys up in God's laws, they wouldn't be in the jails. They wouldn't be six feet under in the ground, in gangs. Listen good, read on. Let the woman learn in silence. Read it again for her. Let the woman learn in silence. Read it again for her. That's what they like. That's why they're single. Families are broken up. Can't keep a man. Read what God says again. Let the woman learn in silence. Read it again for her. Let the woman learn in silence. One more again. Let the woman learn in silence. Now explain why. With all subjection. With all subjection means when God's laws is being taught, you don't know nothing. Read. But I suffer not a woman to teach. What, what, what did God say? I suffer not a woman to teach. Why or why? But I suffer not a woman to teach. Come on. Nor to usurp authority over the man. That's why your families are destroyed, most of you. Because you try to usurp authority over the man. And I'm not talking about the whoremonger man. I ain't talking about him. I'm talking about some of you had good men at one time. But you destroyed him because you had a big mouth. You would not let her rule in your house. You wanted to be the boss. Right. So your man left you. Right. Now you got uh, five different baby daddies and all that. Right. And you want more than focus quiet. I'm going to give the daddy. No, he's not the daddy. I'm going to daddy. You watch more footage. <laughs> you win a more footage. You see them on the right. You see them on the right. You see them on the against his servant. Huh? Read what? it again. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. Come on. For Adam was first born. Now he's going to explain why he does not want women teaching men. He says, for what? For Adam was first born. The word for means because. Because Adam what? Was first born. Come on. Then Eve. Then Eve came second. She came from the rib. 
What does the word woman mean? What does the word woman mean? What does the word woman mean? It means from man. From man. So what's this about women want to leave the man? The woman want to be the boss in the house? That's crazy. That's insanity. Now, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. A lot of sisters. I li the roaches live there. I can't. There's no room for them. Listen. <laughs> Give me Genesis 316. Genesis 316. Oh, I got everything to back up what I say. Step forward. Step forward. Hey, if y'all got something to say, come forward. Say it. And we gonna... I'm not arguing with you. I'm arguing with her. Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow. God says he will greatly multiply your sorrow. And thy conception. And your conceptions. In sorrow. In sorrow. Thou shalt bring forth children. The woman shall bring forth children in sorrow. Why did God curse the woman with child labor pains? It's going to explain why. Come on. And thy desire shall be to thy husband. Your desire shall be to your husband. And he, and he your husband, shall rule over you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, say 50-50. He shall rule over you. Equal, equal. And he shall rule over you. We gonna teach what God says. God says the husband shall rule over the woman. That's right. You sisters that hate that, you will not get salvation. Right. You will not get salvation. That's right. Because you hate God's laws. Now go back to 1 Corinthians. Go to 1 Corinthians. For God is not the author of confusion. For God is not the author of confusion. Come on. But of peace. But of peace. As in all churches of the saints. Listen good. Verse 34. Let your women keep silence in the churches. Let your women keep silence in the churches. Why did God say that? Because America has taught you differently. I'm going to give you the analogy. In the garden. In the garden with Adam and Eve. Satan. Who did Satan go to? Adam or Eve? Eve? He went to Eve and told Eve, you shall not surely die. You can eat of the forbidden fruit. You're familiar with that. Now, let's bring it up to today. Who does the white man go to and tells the woman, the you woman. don't have to listen to your man? The Israelite woman. That's right. That's you black women. You're the Israelite women. That the white man's laws have taught you, you don't have to submit to your husband. You don't have to listen to nothing he sells. And now you're all on the loose, running wild out here. Yes, yes. Now God's laws is coming out. Yes. You fighting against us is not us. Give me that first testimony. They're not the enemy. Four. They are brothers. That's right. First testimony. I love y'all. 421. Thank you, sister. Exactly. The Lord loves you too. That's long as I'm wrong. He that despise talking about this. What is that? Come on. First, Thess good. first Thessalonians 4, verse 8. He therefore that despises. He therefore that despises. Some of you hate us. Despise us, not men. You don't despise men. We're only men. Your hatred is not against us. But God. But who? But God. So your hatred is really against God. And you're going to pay for all the evil you've spoken against his laws. You're going to pay. You're going to pay. Who's speaking now? Who's coming up? Come on up. Get in. Come on back. Now I pray you sisters can just listen and learn. We're not your enemies. We didn't put you on slave ships. The Most High is raising us prophets up in the last day. Listen to what we're saying to you. We will work with anybody and form coalition with anybody that has revolution on their mind. We might not be back. I might be in jail. I might be anywhere. But when I leave, you can remember I said with the last words on my lips that I am a revolutionary. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. We want freedom by any means necessary. We want justice by any means necessary. This is a revolution of God. This time that we're living in, the greatest time on earth, revolution. A spiritual and biblical revolution. All these lives will be shut down on earth. Hallelujah! He's all the Lord!